Hello, welcome to the third and the final installment of our discussion on the problem of combinatorics. Uh, if you have not seen the first two installments, you have to go to the link in the description and go to the discussion page. Uh, we have made certain conclusions. For example, we have found that number of matches is 10 choose 2, which is 45. Uh, secondly, we have also uh, found this beautiful relationship that w1 square up to w10 square is equals to 10 times 9 square minus 2 times l1 times 9 minus 2 times L2 times 9 up to 2 times L10 times 9 plus L1 square L2 square up to L10 square. These are the, three, these are the things that we have already observed in the previous two discussions. Now I gave you a hint and asked you to think about what is the value of L1 plus L2 up to L10? Remember that L1 is a loss for number of losses of uh, the first team. And similarly, L2 is a number of losses for the second team and L10 is the number of losses for the 10th team. Now here is the interesting catch of the problem or rather the crux of the problem. There is a bijection between the number of matches. There is a bijection between the number of matches in the tournament and number of losses. And the reason is very simple. Corresponding to every match, that's, that's denoted by M, MI, there is exactly one loss, right? Someone has lost that particular match. So map it to that team which has lost that match. And you can easily check by either reasoning or uh, hand computation that this is a one-on-one -on -one and onto map. That means the number of matches, the number of matches in the left hand side is same as the number of losses in the right hand side. This is a common technique of doing combinatorics problems. If something is difficult to count, we create another set which is easier to count and we create a map which is a bijection between the two sets. If you are not familiar with the bijection principle technique, then you should be following some of the discussions that we have had in our previous class lectures or in our website, there are other resources as well. So anyway, the point is that since we have found the number of matches is equal to the number of losses, therefore, the sum is clearly 45 which we found earlier is the number of matches. So L1 up to L10 adds up to 45. Now coming back to this equation, we have 10 times 81 minus 2 times 9 times L1 plus L2 up to ln, uh, L10, I'm sorry, L10, and the sum of the squares of the losses. Now this, this is 45, so 10 times 81 times, uh, I'm sorry, 10 minus 
2 times 9 times 45 plus L1 square up to L10 square. So these two cancel off. They are of the same value. So we have we are left out with just L1 square up to L10 square on the right hand side. So our final answer is W1 square plus W2 square up to W10 square is equal to L1 square up to L10 square. So that's the final answer which is basically the option C in this problem. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy mathematics. We will see you in the next discussion.